What you're looking at here is a wet fence, a wet wood fence. And while you're building your fence, you need to make sure that each one of these boards are separated by at least an eighth of an inch gap. That would be the minimum gap. And again, you might want to contact your the fence manufacturer or the supplier of the fencing materials for more information. However, you shouldn't ever butt them right next to each other while you're building your fence unless unless the wood is wet. Now, if you do butt dry wood, um, some type of wood that's been kiln dried or processed to where most of the moisture is out of the wood, and I see this a lot in cedar, cedar fencing that is dry, but a lot of the redwood is soaking wet, so you can actually just place the redwood, redwood fencing boards right next to each other because they're so wet they will actually dry out and shrink. Now if you leave your gap on a redwood fence or or a piece of fencing material that is soaking wet. Now I'm talking about a 1x6 or a 1x8 something like that. I'm not talking about pre-made panels. If you if you have wet wood and you leave a quarter of an inch gap when this wood dries you're probably going to have about a half inch gap. Now how do I know this? Because my neighbor did it at one of the houses I lived in. She left at least a quarter of an inch gap and when the wood dried out you could see everything they did in their backyard whenever they did anything. Now if you want privacy you are going to need to space your individual fencing slats as close as possible without creating any problems when they get wet. When these boards get wet, they swell. They will expand. When they dry, they will shrink. So be cautious and be aware of, of this when you're building a wood fence.